Welcome to a quick fix esports today, and yes, it is as weird for us as it is for you to see two fix esports in a single week, but we love seeing you, so it's not so bad. Today we're looking at the recent Overwatch League announcement, and if you didn't hear, the postseason and championship will be held offline September 4th through 25th, with the playoffs kicking off September 16th at the Esports Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The Grand Finals will be landing at the Galen Center in Los Angeles on September 25th. But what about that little part about September 4th? Well, great question. That's the play-in tournament. Breaking down how the teams will qualify, the top three teams in the West and the top two teams in the East at the end of the regular season are auto-locked in. A play-in tournament for the two regions will decide the final three teams on September 4th and 5th to round out an eight-team bracket. And luckily, it's a double elimination tournament, and if we've loved anything about esports this year, it's the run back from the losers bracket. From the Toronto Ultra at the CDL Major 2 to Mango at Smash Summit, there's always a chance for those big moments in double elim events. The winner of the tournament brings home $1.5 million with $700,000 for second place, not too shabby. In total, the prize pool is a nice $3.2 million. Currently in the West, three teams share a 9-3 record, but with different map differentials. The Dallas Fuel are at plus 14, the San Francisco Shock at plus 13, and the Houston Outlaws at plus 11. Right behind them at plus 13 and plus 9 respectively sit the 8-4 Los Angeles Gladiators and 8-4 Washington Justice. Over in the East, the Shanghai Dragons hold a little bit more of a stable spot at number 1 with 10-2 in the record and plus 20 in the map differential field, while the Seoul Dynasty are taking up second place in the standings at 9-3 and, and plus 14. There's still a few weeks left to play with the games wrapping up around the middle of August, so some of those auto-qualifying spots aren't quite safe. And that's your quick fix for today. I'm Darren Kulinski, and if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, smash the bell button, do all the things the kids do, and we'll catch you next time.